Welcome. In this video, we're going to use two different limit definitions of the derivative to find f prime of 2 given this function f of x. So let's begin with the first definition. That's the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. In this case, a is equal to 2. So this becomes the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x minus f of 2 over x minus 2. As an aside, f of 2 is going to equal 2 times 2 squared minus 7 times 2 plus 3, which is just negative 3. So what I end up with is the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 minus a negative 3 over x minus 2, which is the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 divided by x plus, excuse me, x minus 2. The numerator factors really nicely. So this becomes the limit of x minus 2 times 2x minus 3, and I divide by x minus 2. x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is 1, so I end up with the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x minus 3 which is just 2 times 2 minus 3, or 1. So f prime of 2 is equal to 1. Now let's do this with the other definition. The second definition for f prime of 2 is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. And now we already know what f of 2 is. What about f of a plus h? Well, f of a plus h is equal to 2a plus h squared minus 7 times a plus h plus 3. This just simplifies to 2h squared plus h minus 3. Okay, so now I can continue. f prime of 2 in this case. Oh, excuse me, that should be an a here. There we are. So f prime of 2 in this case is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of 2h squared plus h minus 3 minus a negative 3 over h. Negative 3 minus a negative 3 becomes positive and that's 0. So I have the limit as h approaches 0 of 2h squared plus h divided by h, which is just the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 2h plus 1 divided by h. So again, we can cross these out because h divided by h is 1. So I end up with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2h plus 1, and that's just 2 times 0 plus 1, or 1. So if you notice, both methods, there we are, gave us the same value, that is the derivative of this function at x equals 2 is equal to 1. This is telling us that the slope of the tangent line to f at the value 2 is equal to 1. I hope this video was helpful.